Hello my friends, it's time yet again for another Uno Moss episode, the series where we're looking at weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. Yet again, and as always, for those that don't know, Uno Moss levels are typically short levels that showcase things that definitely weren't intended to be in this game. Let's go ahead and check some of them out. <laughs> The first Unimos level of the day comes courtesy of Perfect, and it is called New Enemy. What is this new enemy that the level is alluding to? I don't know. I'm excited to see what, what could be the new enemy this level is referring to. So what I'm thinking we need to do, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I could obviously be totally wrong on this, but what I think we need to do is bounce and then drop, maybe drop. Oh, that is it. So it's not really a new enemy. It's combining the spring with the trampoline, which then gives us enough height to get up here. That's pretty unique, honestly. Weird how that works. So the once the twister gets on top of the spring enemy, it stays there. Next up, we have another one from Perfect. This one is question mark, question mark, question mark. It said, hopefully this doesn't get reported to Nintendo. Okay, let's just let's just it, t take all this in. We look up top at the Bowser's. Uh, what happens if we hit? Whoa, there is just some just some weird stuff in general going on here. So, uh oh, friends, I, th I think I am. I think I am stuck. Okay, Mario's going crazy. So how, how do I get through there is the question. Maybe I... <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck again. I'm trying to think, what, what, what can I do here to get... Can I go up top? Oh, you can go up top. Maybe that's how you beat this, but... I kind of want to, I don't want to beat it yet. I want to see what the thing going on with the Yoshi is. <gasps> I may have got it. I may have got it. Okay, but now we're small. So now we have Yoshi. It's like Mario's riding a magic Yoshi carpet. That is so cool. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. I definitely can't get back on Yoshi. So, uh, all right, let's, let's just beat the level now. And there we go. The level has been beat. <laughs> that was really... Really cool, and I'm sure it got reported to Nintendo. We have another one from the Legend Perfect. This one is called the Pokey Dance. It only works in 3D World style, it said. So it looks to me the longer the Pokey, the jankier it gets. At least that's. Although. Are you guys seeing some weird screen scrolling? Maybe it's just my eyes, but it feels like if we go back and forth, there is some weird janky screen scrolling when we go back to the right. Right there. Are you guys seeing that? Get ready for it. Right there. It's very, very minimal, but there is some weird stuff there, at least according to my old eyes. And yet another one by Perfect. This one is called, Why Is This A Thing? It said, play this before Nintendo deletes it, so that tells me. Now the smart thing to do would be to YOLO here, right? But I'm not the smartest thing. I'm gonna see if I can time this correctly.
I nailed it only to... Oh, you do have to nail it. Oh, man, I had it first try. <laughs> I had it first try and... Uh, of course I messed it up. I'm probably not going to be able to beat this now. Oh, gosh. You honestly, it, it feels like you have better luck just closing your eyes. This, this honestly feels all luck-based. Yes, it's timing, but I have the world's worst internal timer, so it's... It's very hard for me to actually nail the jumps. <laughs> uh, I mean, I... Who knows? Nintendo definitely could delete that, but... Why? And finally, one more Unamas by Perfect. This one is called Spring Secrets. We have to reach the goal while riding Yoshi. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool how you can do that, honestly. Um, so I'll just show you. Let me spit that out. Uh, you'll notice that the spring pops out of the pipe. However, before the spring fully exit the pipe, it's grabbable by Yoshi's tongue, you'll notice. Let's watch in slow motion. Yeah, Yoshi just rips it right out of the pipe before it's even emerged, uh, allowing us to beat the level. Pretty cool. Now we have a really loud U made by Just Newbie. Let's see what this one is. I got my headphones in. Okay, so it's not as loud as I thought, but I'm <laughs> more mesmerized by the crazy amounts of shrapnel just coming out of the exploding meatballs. Mario's just getting covered in meatball juice. That is, uh, it's not that, I'm not so much impressed by the U, the sound effect, more by the meatball splatters. Meatball splatters? Now we're gonna look at Double L's hammer, not fire. This one, we have to reach the goal after defeating all four hammer bros. And let's see how we do that. We are given a boomerang. There's one dead. There's two dead. There's three dead. Uh, I'm gonna need to see that in slow motion. I don't even know what happened. Uh, there must have been two hammer bros in there. They died instantly. And I don't know why or how. We're gonna have to look to the footage. That was Unomas Wall Walker made by Just Newbie. We have to reach the goal as Big Mario. Thick Mario. Chunky Mario. So there's a hint. So we have to somehow fit Big Mario through that gap. Hmm, how do we do that? All right, let's take let's take the hint. Let's see what the hint says. I'll take a hint. Oh! Interesting. The POW block has to push you. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. I have never seen that. I didn't even know that was a thing. What happens if we crouch? Does anything... Okay, so it doesn't matter if you crouch or not. Uh, the same exact thing happens. Pushes you through that one-way block and you can beat the level. Cool. Kind of interested in this one made by Double L. Says DGR can't ground pound. Um, I think I've I've been known to ground pound once or twice in my day. Oh, so we have. 
Ah, uh, it's one of those ones. Oh, oh no. How long? Okay, it's only 11 seconds. So this is actually kind of interesting. Um, I think I've seen it before. But if you just try to jump into the saw, it doesn't work. If you try to crouch jump into the saw, it doesn't work. But if you ground pound at just the right spot... That was not... <laughs> My timing is just impeccable sometimes. Next up, we have Kamek No RNG made by Antonio OP. Uh, it's pretty well known that uh, Magic Koopa Kamek, when it throws its magic wand at something, it is all RNG based. But is this saying, has Antonio found a way to make it so there is no RNG? Um, Let's just start over and see. Okay, it's a red magic hoop of back to back times. Is that a uh, coincidence or is that gonna. No, it's every time. That's great, but how do we win? <laughs> so, do we have to somehow manipulate the RNG? What if I go run to the left and crouch? That's wild. That's really strange. Wow. That was Bruno Moss Flying Mario made by Eagle Gamer. Show me your eagle powers. They gave me no nutrients. Okay, where we go through the... Oh, this is... Okay. So it should do it again. If we fall down here, it should do the exact same thing. We should be able to do this as many times as we want, right? No, because, okay, wait, what if... Remember, it all has to do, if you saw the last Unimos video, it all has to do with the mushroom. If, long, if the mushroom's not there, it won't work. So did we get the mushroom? Let's find out. Go through the pipe. Oh no, the mushroom falls in the pit, so then it's gone. Interesting. That This level said it could be used for, for some refreshing levels. I actually could see that. Some inverted refreshing levels. You don't see that too often. You know, you see the ground pound refreshing levels. What about an inverted going up refreshing level? Now we want by mozzarella called Unamas on off dependent donut. So what do we have here? We have to figure a way to get out across this spike gap. You'll notice up there the donut is not falling, but if we hit that, if we hit the on off, it didn't move the thwomp. That's okay, I wasn't done talking about it anyway. So again, with the on off block off, on, off, off, on, off. Now if I jump, will it move the thwomp at all? No, the thwomp does not move at all. However, it lets us, it drops the donut, allowing us to ride the donut over to victory. Oh man, that is that is that is actually really cool. Next up, we have a Japanese Uno Moss level. Uh, this one is, I don't know what it says because I don't read Japanese still. You think I'd learn. What was that? We were just like, we did the fusion dance of Dragon Ball Z with a bomb. Looks like Mario's lower half is a bomb. Mario has fused with a bomb, and now it's a, a Mario bomb? Babario? Oh, I threw it off now, uh-oh. Oh wait, now it's a, it worked again. That is weird. I wonder if that can work with other enemies. Will that only work with a uh, bomb or will that work with other enemies? Like I'd love to see Mario combined with like 
a spike bottom or a Goomba bottom. Possibilities are endless. No more spring inside a question mark block by Saitu. I'm so sorry. I can't. I'm so bad at name pronunciations. Wow. Let's restart. What is causing that? Is there any special setup here? Literally no special setup. The spring just falls into the right place. And the spring, uh, two springs are partially on the... <laughs> on the question mark box. That's strange. Next up, we have Uno Moss. How did this happen made by one up? Well, I, I don't know what is happening. Whoa, I'm like stuck. Whoa, 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 I, I am. Again, this is one of those ones, unless you're watching on the full highest uh, quality on YouTube, you're probably not going to see this. Mario is glitching out like crazy. The launcher is glitching out like crazy. I am pressing, you can move left and right. Jumping only works occasionally. That time was totally different. I, I threw a fireball and we got transported through the wall. Okay, I gotta keep playing <laughs> this. The first time it happened when I ducked. Now I'm curious if this will still work if we need the fire flower. Uh, see, I'm like stuck. I, I'm legitimately stuck here. I'm mashing the jump button. I'm holding run. I'm pressing the spin jump. So you do need the fire flower. Okay. Without the fire flower, this... Even when you hold run against the launcher, it still glitches out like crazy. So you do need the fire flower to win. And then you... you... Okay, so... Is this random? So it's it feels really random that you just get shoved through the wall and can beat the level. It feels super random. We look at through the ground made by vandalized. This I believe is a, a Uno Moss we've seen many, many times where we're gonna get glitched, but I think what I wanna see mainly is where Mario ends up after we beat this level. So we've all seen this. That's what I wanted to see. So if you scroll down through the popular easy courses, this is an Uno Moss that's super simple to set up and you see tons of people messing around with it. But what sets this one apart a little bit is just where Mario ends up. Two springs end up going missing and Mario just randomly lands inside that box. That That's kind of cool. How about we look at this one by Gerbil called Fast Items, No Movement. The description said the items get shot out of the launcher very quickly. And that is true. Normally for items to get shot out really quickly like that, it's got to be on a, you know, moving platform or something where it's like shaking and it will spit out the items quicker. But that's not the case here. The, the launchers are not moving, yet the items are getting squirted out a lot faster than they would normally be squirted out. Yeah, that's weird how that's working. Shouldn't be getting squirted that fast yet. Ah, uh, that's why. So it doesn't appear the thwomp is moving at light speed. So I don't know if that means that the launcher is also moving at light speed and we just can't see it. I that, But that is what's causing the crazy movements of the items coming outside of the launcher. We have another Unamas from a Japanese creator yet again. Still don't know how to read Japanese, so let's just see what's going on here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with this wiggler? It's like neck is broken or it, it looks like a sniffing dog, like it's on the on the trail of a hot clue. You know, the old sniffing wiggler. <laughs> 
<laughs> why? I don't understand why the rest of the Wiggler's body is up, yet the head is dropped low. Obviously, it's something with the setup. It's very funny to look at. Not practical or probably useful, but still fun to look at. We have another one by Gerbil. This one is called Basically Magic. I mean, that's what I consider almost all Unamas levels. Just and troll levels, just magic. It's the only explanation, not setups. Just magic. Okay, so what what are we watching here? Yes, it said to watch the spring in the description. I wasn't watching the spring. I noticed it too late. All right, chat. I'm not going to talk anymore. We're going to watch watch the spring up top. How does it why does it drop there I don't I don't understand uh, it's basically magic I mean that's <laughs> that's pretty accurate up. another Japanese Unamas level this one we have to reach the goal as fire Mario so let's take a look at what's going on here oh Oh, so I think what this is showing us, if we look, so there's a nut and a mushroom behind this one way. So I think the only thing that, the only power up, and non power up, I guess, that escapes this one way in the night theme is the fire flower and the poisonous mushroom. Okay, so let's watch this a little more closely. You'll di you did notice that the fire flowers escape through here. Stars, nuts, mushrooms do not make it through the one way. Only the poison mushroom and the fire flower make it through. Little Moss the Party, made by the same Japanese creator as the last level, is up next. And it said, don't move in the description. It said, don't move after going in the pipe for a little bit, so... I'm good with that. So, none of the enemies are trying. It's literally just like a dance party. Cue the music. I said, cue the music. So when enemies get shot out of a launcher, they do bounce once or twice. So then with the speed lowering of the platform, is that what's causing this? Is that is that what's causing this? I don't I don't know if that's what's causing this craziness. And I'm actually really I'm I'm honestly pretty shocked we were able to leave. You can't go back down. Okay, so that <laughs> that's another Uno Moss in and of itself. We were able to come up this pipe with the launcher on it, but we cannot go back down the pipe. We were able to go up the pipe, but not back down it. And then finally, another one by the same Japanese creator. Which item can you bring? Been wondering. Okay. Oh, so we have a pow block, a P-switch, and a spring. I, like, messed something up. Let's, let's, uh, let's try that again. Let's start with the spring. So I think we wait right here at the on-off block. <laughs> you cannot bring the spring to beat the level. All right, I like this idea for a level a lot. Can we bring the P-switch with us through the level? You cannot. So the piece which would have let us jump through here if we could have brought it, but we couldn't bring it. So the answer has to be the pow block, right? So what about the pow block? Can we bring the pow block with us? You do drop the pow block. So let it be known, you do drop the item just like you did with the piece switch and the spring. However, it makes it into this side with us, thus allowing us to kill the muncher and beat 
the level. I loved that. That was such a cool idea. Well, there you have it, my friends. That's another Uno Moss episode wrapped up and in the books. As always, we saw a ton of really awesome things that Nintendo probably doesn't... <laughs> probably doesn't like but that's okay because we love them and i just want to say a huge shout out to all the creators that are still to this day almost three years later diligently hunting through this game to find these weird wacky and wonderful things you guys are the real mvps and i cannot believe each episode i'm still seeing things that i've never seen before keep on searching keep on making and i will keep on playing but for now we're gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day and until next time take care and the biggest of shoutouts and thank you to Rachel Yall for redeeming a bunch of channel points to appear in the credits of this YouTube video. Thank you so much, Rachel, for the support. I really appreciate it.